Hi everybody, let's find out what we're doing today. I'm going to share my screen with you. There you go, and here we are in PowerPoint. Now I'm going to click on slideshow and then from beginning so it goes really big. Okay, now this half term you're going to be using PowerPoint yourselves. Some of you have used PowerPoint before, some of you have never used it. So this will be fantastic for either brushing up your skills or learning new ones. Okay, so this half term, we're going to be using the internet to search safely for images, pictures of animals, birds, fish, and mini beasts to make a PowerPoint of our own. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is think of three different animals. Okay, it says there, let's make a list of your ideas. So I've written here, cat, owl, and rabbit. But you could have three of any animal that you like. You could start with a tiger. Take a moment now, pause the video, and write down three animals you would like to look up on the internet. Do that now. Okay, let's see what to do next. Okay, so we're going to use the internet to search for pictures of your chosen animals. You can see two pictures on the screen here. One is a big blue E, that is the symbol for Internet Explorer. And the other is a red, yellow and green circle, and that is the symbol for Google Chrome. Both of these are search engines. That means you can type in what you want to look for and they'll search thousands, millions of internet web pages to find what you're looking for. Okay, but before we click on it, why do we have to be careful when we're looking for pictures online? Well, maybe you can turn to the person next to you at home and tell them why do you think we need to be careful looking for pictures online? Well, who put the pictures online? That's right, anybody can put pictures online. It's not necessarily going to be an animal expert that's putting pictures on, anyone can put pictures online. So if anyone can put pictures of anything online, what do we do if we see a picture online that we don't like? Can you think of something you could do? Tell the person next to you at home. Yes, there are two things we can do. We can turn the computer off. We don't have to look at that picture if you don't like it. And we can tell a trusted adult. That could be someone in your family, or it could even be a teacher at school. They might be able to help you get rid of that picture that you don't like. Okay. Today, we're going to use a Google Safe Search. This means once you turn the Safe Search on, you shouldn't see any pictures you don't want to see. I'll show you in a minute how to turn the Safe Search on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is double click with your left mouse button on the Google Chrome logo. So it's a fast click, 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 like that. Once you open up your search engine, you need to type in the animal you're searching for into the search bar and press enter. You can see on the PowerPoint here, I've typed in tiger. Once you press enter, Google will search for all the pictures it can find containing a tiger. And here we are, look, I've searched and I've found all of these pictures. Some of them are showing their teeth, some of them are lying down for a nap. Some of them are little cubs. Okay, so we're going to choose one of these pictures today. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into a PowerPoint. Right, before I go any further, I'm going to show you how to turn on your safe search. Okay, first I'm going to show you how to put on the safe search. So the first thing I'm going to do is share my screen and get my Google page up on the screen. Okay, this is what my Google page looks like. Yours might have a white background. Okay, so I don't want to type into this search bar because it will search the whole internet for everything. Actually, I only want pictures 
images. So I need a Google image search. To do this, you go up to the top right hand corner and click on the word images. And when you do, your screen should change to look like this. OK, so now it says Google images, but we want to make sure it's a safe search so we don't see any pictures we don't want to see. OK, to turn on your safe search settings, you may need to ask a grown up to help you or try and follow these instructions. Go down to the bottom right where it says settings. Click on it. At the top, it says search settings. Click on that. It will take you to this page and the very first thing says turn on safe search. Tick the box. You now scroll to the bottom of the page and click the blue button which says save. Then you click the blue button OK and it returns to Google and click on images once more. And now we know that we've got Google images and our safe search is on. OK, so now it's safe for me to put in the words I want to search for. Now, the first animal on my list was a cat. So I'm going to type in cat and I can either press enter on my keyboard or I can press this search logo. Straight away, it takes me to loads of brilliant pictures of cats and there's loads and loads and loads of them. So I need to choose one I want to copy and paste onto my PowerPoint. So I think, oh look, there's one wearing a mask. I think I'll choose this little guy. I'm gonna click it once with the left mouse button and that brings up a bigger picture here on the right hand side. Now, to copy and paste it and put it into our PowerPoint, we need to do something quite clever. We are going to make sure our mouse is hovering over the picture we want then we're going to press the right mouse button once. If you've done it correctly, it should bring up this menu and you go all the way down until you find the one that says copy image and you click the left mouse button once. Here we go. OK, you might think, well, nothing's happened. It doesn't look like it, but actually the computer has taken a copy and has remembered it ready for you to paste it. So now we need to go to our PowerPoint. Okay, I'm going to change my screen share and show you my PowerPoint screen. Okay. Almost there. Here we are. Okay, this is my brand new PowerPoint. It's completely blank. There's nothing on it at all, just a blank page. Now, because I want to make a PowerPoint of animals, I'm actually going to change the layout. If you go up to the top right, it says home. You'll notice just over here, it says layout. If you click on that, it shows you all the different th ways of laying out your page. I want you to click on the second one, please, that has a bar at the top and a big area for a picture. Now you can see mine has changed to the bar at the top and the big area for the picture. Now this is where we want to put the picture of our cat. So first of all, place your mouse somewhere that isn't inside these boxes. So look, I'm going to carefully put my mouse here on the outside. Can you see? And now we need to press right click again just once. It brings up a menu and one of the options is paste and I'm going to press the left mouse button once and hopefully ah oh he's appeared but he's very big don't worry it's easy to make him smaller first I click once on the picture with my left mouse button now can you see that we've got little circles and squares around the outside of the picture grab the bottom handle here can you see how my mouse changes Hold down your left mouse button and pull up to make your picture smaller. And you can pull it back down towards your PowerPoint slide. Do it again. And place it on the screen where you're pleased with it. Now, once you've got it in place, you can click on the bar at the top and type cat. Lovely. Now, 
I had three animals on my list. My second one was an owl, so I need to make a second page. So I click on the small version of the PowerPoint and I press enter. There we go, we've got another one ready. And I have three animals all together, so I'm going to press enter again. So I've got one, two, three screens. Okay, so for my second animal, the owl, I'm going to need to go back to my Google page. So change my screen share again. Okay, here we are back on the page which had all the cats, but now I want to search for owls. So I go to the top of the page where it says Google and here's where I typed in cat. I'm now going to delete that and type in owl. Oh, well, oh. You might be searching for different animals. And I'm gonna press go. Oh, brilliant, loads of pictures of owls, hundreds and hundreds for me to choose from. Oh, look, there's one in a drain pipe. But I think I, I quite like this one with his head on one side. Now, let's see if you can remember. I'm going to put my mouse on top of the picture I want to copy. I'm going to click the right mouse button. The menu comes up and I use my left bu mouse button to click on copy image. Now I go back to my PowerPoint page. Here we are. Make sure I'm on the second page and remember place your mouse not inside the boxes, just on the outside. Right click, press, paste with the left click. Oh, here he is. He's too big again, but that's okay. Press once on the picture, grab that corner handle, pull it back down onto my PowerPoint, keep making it smaller until I'm happy with it. <laughs> if I want to type owl at the top, I just click on the words, type owl, owl. lovely. Okay, the third one was a rabbit. So let's go back to my Google search page. Here we are, straight back to the top, delete the word owl and type in rabbit. Here we are, loads of really cute rabbits. Uh, it's hard to know which one to choose. I think this one is really cute. Let's click on him. Right, so mouse on top of the picture I want to copy. Right click once. Left click on copy image. Then you go back to your PowerPoint page. Here we are, make sure you're on page three. Place your mouse outside the box, right click and say paste. Oh, click on the picture, grab the handle, make it smaller. Wait till you're happy with it. I might have to make him a little bit smaller. Click on the title, R -A -B -B it. rabbit. Okay, so now my PowerPoint is finished. I've got the three animals and three pictures, and I've even managed to put three headings, cat, owl, and rabbit. Now, when you look at it like this, you might think, hmm, it doesn't look very good. It's got this box in the background. But when you show it in proper PowerPoint mode, they disappear, and it looks rather smart. Let's have a look. You come up to the top. This one we're currently on is home. Go all the way along until you click on the one that says slideshow and you want to show your slideshow from the beginning the first one are you ready here we go ah lovely i'll press for the next slide <laughs> the owl and oh the cute rabbit and we've finished our slideshow okay so remember you can pick any three animals you like so you just need to make sure you've got your safe search on, your Google image page open, and a brand new PowerPoint page ready to insert your pictures. I really hope you enjoy doing this. If you find it tricky at first, you can always ask a grown up for help, or pause the video, rewind, watch what I do again, and see if you can try again. I'm really looking forward to seeing if you manage to post some of your PowerPoints to your teachers. Okay, let me stop the share and say, get ready to say, see you next week, where I'll show you more things you can do with your PowerPoints. Okay, 
Goodbye, everybody.